Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> the first was uh, the way, uh, I mean, let me start from the strategy. Yeah. The, the, the first was he wanted all independent African states to be members of the African Football Confederation. He wanted more votes in FIFA. He wanted to strengthen the voice of Africa. And in that, he succeeded. At first, he had difficulty. I remember an incident in 1964, Tokyo Olympics. Uh, that was uh, the time when he gave up on Sir Stanley Rouse, the issue of eliminating South Africa from FIFA uh, until such time apartheid was abolished. Uh, he presented uh, this issue to the Congress and uh, it was not appreciated by Sir Stanley Rouse. He did not get any support. In fact, he was discouraged. His speech was interrupted by Sir Stanley Rouse. And then he understood that he needed more voices, more votes in FIFA. So he encouraged Africans to become members of the Confederation and members of FIFA. This was one. The other was even if he had more African members, more votes in FIFA, he knew it was impossible to uh, eliminate South Africa unless he got the support of other developing continents. Uh, so the first alliance of CAF was with uh, Latin America, which uh, felt the same way uh, in their representation in the CAF Executive uh, Committee, uh, in their uh, representation in the World Cup. And uh, so even though they are not the natural allies of Africa. Their football is much better, wealthier. Uh, they had their grievances uh, um, on the uh, European domination of FIFA. So uh, he managed to form this alliance with Latin America. And that's where uh, his partnership with Sir Stanley, uh, with, uh, sorry, uh, Dr. Joa Havelange starts. Havelange was ambitious. He wanted to be the president of FIFA. And for it, Nagacho, Sir Stanley uh, did not give any indication of assisting Africa. Uh, in the political uh, arena, like uh, eliminating South Africa uh, from FIFA, uh, in the technical arena, like training trainers, training uh, medical personnel, training administrators, training referees, uh, in the representation in, uh, in FIFA Executive Committee, in the representation in World Cup tournaments. If you remember, in 1966, Africa uh, was denied a single spot. Uh, so, uh, in fact, it was invited to play the champions. The African champion was invited to play the champion of Asia to qualify for the World Cup in England. Africa refused as uh, an issue of
principle and said we deserve at least one place. Sir Stanley's position was that Africa was not yet of the standard of the World Cup. Yudnagacho's position was that he knew that Africa was not yet of the standard, but it would never get to that standard if it stays away from competitions. Let's come in, let's lose, let's learn, and in the end, we would be equal competitors. So on this issue, Sir Stanley neither wanted to give Africa a place, nor did he assist in uh, capacity build-up in Africa, in upgrading African football to be uh, future qualifiers in the World Cup. So uh, the alliance between Dr. Havelange and Tessama, Latin America and Africa, and uh, that led to the 1974 uh, coup d'etat or <laughs> election uh, in which uh, uh, Havelange uh, won by um, a narrow majority and Sir Stanley was replaced as the president of FIFA. Uh, the promise by Dr. Havelange then was, uh, as I mentioned before, uh, training in all fields to upgrade African football, uh, a place or two in, uh, for African teams in the finals of the World Cup, uh, more places in the executive committee of FIFA. Mm, these were the promises, the main ones. But uh, then uh, I wouldn't say everything went smooth. Uh, all the promises were not kept. Then even though uh, the struggle was not as hopeless as during uh, Sir Stanley's time, there was still struggle uh, between uh, FIFA of Dof Dr. Havelange and CAF of the summer. Yeah. Uh, when Zaire for the first time represented uh, the African Football Confederation and lost 7 1, uh, it was uh, presented as uh, an evidence against Africa that it's not ready to qualify for, for World Cup matches. Uh, again, Nagacho's argument was the same. We lose 7-1, 8-1, but we'll catch up. And uh, as you see now, Africa has caught up. Unfortunately, not his country, not Ethiopia, but uh, countries like Nigeria, Cameroon, Algeria, Tunisia, and Egypt, uh, Morocco have managed to perform uh, very well in uh, African in uh, World Cup uh, matches, be it Olympic or uh, 